today's PC quick tip what business Hell 2025 release wave 2 UK is getting delocalized now you don't understand the word let's understand it delocalization is a process where Microsoft uh, extract the localization changes from the base app and other apps wherever it is to a separate extension now this is not the first time where Microsoft is doing it uh, this started in 2023 release wave 1 where Swedish localization was delocalized and then followed up with 2023 release wave 2 where Iceland localization was delocalized. So now let's kind of technically understand it what that means. So today uh, when Microsoft launched Business Central for some of the countries they started with having their local functionality as a part of the product DVD. So each country used to get their own product DVD like GB, uh, UK, uh, sorry, US and other parts of the world. Now as time is going past, Microsoft understand that it's hard to maintain all those product DVD and this is just my thought, right? So what they started doing is doing delocalization. Now what happens with the delocalization? There's some functionality which are very strict to that particular region like for UK, they have specific laws and uh, processes that need to be followed for UK businesses they move to a separate app and then some of the features which are not only applicable for UK move to the base app so going forward we'll see some good functionalities from UK which will be part of the base app uh, going forward so from a user perspective when you think or a developer perspective when you think about it Business Central GB as of today, the base app something looks like this. After delocalization, it'll convert to something like this. Where Business Central W1 will have these extensions available. They can be one or many based on how much GB's um, localization impact on the base app. And they will be split into separate extension. Now this is toward a great feature that I'm looking forward where there is only one version which is W1 and then on top of it all these localizations are part of the separate extension. What do you think about the localization process and do you think that there is a way that going forward there is only one version W1 and then you go in and choose what localization your customer needs. Do let me know into the comments and you know the drill at this moment. Do like, share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you sooner than later.